What's up, y'all? It's Daniel, your Chumelier. I have not been shy about the fact that I love the Adidas NMD S1 silhouette. And not only do I think it's one of the top two most comfortable silhouettes by Adidas and possibly top two in all of sneakerdom, but it is my favorite silhouette, new-ish. I know it's basically a reimagining, a retroing, a requel of pre-existing Adidas silhouettes, but regardless, to me, not only one of the most comfortable, but the coolest, most futuristic, most awesome silhouette that has jumped onto the scene as of late. I've talked about the NMD S1, and I love just as much the NMD S1 Ariat, Ariat, Riat, whatever, the human race, the Pharrell Williams influenced boot. Same technology, it's just more of a boot-like fit, boot-like look. It's every bit as comfortable. I love this silhouette. There have already been two colorways released. We had that awesome Stormtrooper all white with those little hints of pastel colors. And then we had what I refer to as a Timberland inspired colorway, kind of a tobacco brown, beige, light brown, etc. And now we have the third released colorway of the NMD Riat S1 Human Race Pharrell Williams Adidas shoe. It's in core black, though it's really not as black as they would make you think. Regardless, today we're gonna talk about the core black colorway of the Adidas Human Race NMD S1 Riat, Aria, Aria, Riat. As one of Adidas's most notable and consistent collaborators, Pharrell Williams has continuously pushed the envelope when it comes to style. And for 2022, one of the ways he has kept this pace is with the introduction of the Adidas Human Race NMD S1 Aria. As mentioned earlier, landing in white and cardboard looks previously, the Human Race NMD S1 Aria now sees itself in a calmer black presentation. Constructed of a premium suede and leather overlays on the primarily black upper, this colorway keeps its color involvement minimal as dark grays pair with minor hints of orange, light gray, and blue towards the heel. Additional specifications on the platform-esque sneaker include a rubberized TPU mudguard, full-length boost midsole, and rugged outsole that utilizes the trefoil shape for its grip. Now when it comes to sizing, I'm about a 9.25, but that shoe size doesn't exist. So I usually have to go down to a nine and maybe remove the insole, or I go up to a nine and a half and either it fits perfectly or I wear a thicker sock or I just replace the insole with something thicker in order to make those shoes fit. However, any Pharrell Williams endorsed or adjacent or collaboration with Adidas fits me a size too big. Regardless of what silhouette it is, if it has Pharrell Williams influence, I go down to an eight and a half. And in the NMD S1 and the NMD S1 Ariat, I have to do the same thing. I find that eight and a half fit my feet perfectly. I don't have a big wide foot. I have a normal size foot. I like wiggle room in the toe box, but don't like a lot of lockdown in the midfoot. All that to say, whatever shoe size you wear in a Pharrell Williams NMD style shoe, I would feel comfortable in saying go with that size. For me, all of the Pharrell Williams shoes, I go down to an eight and a half. Now, when it comes to comfort, I've already spoiled it. I've told you this silhouette, the NMD S1, is one of the top two most comfortable silhouettes in the Adidas line, as well as in all of shoedom. I find the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Compact to be the other most comfortable silhouette currently in the Adidas catalog, and I am very partial to the Nike Air Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort over there. So to me, those three are the most comfortable, but the Zoom Air is definitely in third place, and I think the NMD S1 is probably one with the Compact 350 V2 in one and a half, but basically second place. This is a very comfortable shoe, even in the boot. It feels great on foot. You are getting a little bit taller. I would say maybe you're about an inch taller when you wear these shoes and they look very industrial. I don't hike, so I can't comment on, are these actually good hiking shoes? And I haven't worn these in inclement weather, so I can't talk about the grip on whether it's rain or snow or sleet or whatever. That will come soon enough. But for now, it's a super comfortable shoe, and that goes for all the NMD S1 silhouettes, whether they're the lows or whether they're these boots. As you can see in the pictures and the videos, the blacks on the shoe are not consistent. Now, you have here a dark black right here on the lace holes where the laces go through. You also have that on the midsole. I think those are the darkest 
blackest moments of the shoe. You also have sort of a black tongue colorway here. It's kind of canvasy. It's a little bit of rough there, uh, but it's dark. But then you look at the suede here on the lace guards, and that's not the darkest of dark. It almost has a purplish, bluish, black feel to it. Um, and then here on the toe box area, when you have the mud guard and you have the toe box, you can see that it's a grayish black, and then you can see almost a purplish, dark, bluish black. When it's taken from far away, it comes off as a black shoe. But up close, you have three or four different shades of black. I would say four at least, and then not even counting the parts that you can see through and give it a different type of black. But if you like a black shoe with a little bit of color but isn't totally black and murdered out, well, this shoe's probably for you. Me, personally, I would have preferred like a very consistent all murdered out black shoe. I would keep the pull tab in that solar red. I don't mind the gray and I don't mind the blue. Uh, and the laces do have little pink uh, lace tips here on the aglets. They have a little pink right there, but you don't really see that much. And I guess it's supposed to match the solar red in the back, but it doesn't match. And you have human race uh, stitched onto the tongue, which is great. But regardless, this is not an all black shoe. It's not like a triple black shoe. It's only triple black in that there are at least three different versions of black on the shoe. So if that bothers you, it's gonna bother you. And if it doesn't bother you, you'll be fine. So there you have it. My thoughts on my favorite silhouette as of late, the NMD S1, adding the Ariat to it. I've loved the NMD since it first came out. It popped onto the scene. It had such hype going behind it. And then it's died down a little bit. This is, I, this continues to be one of the most slept on silhouettes. I know they don't make a lot of them, judging based on the prices on resale, uh, whether it's the Lowe's or it's these boots. They don't make a lot of them, so the resale is a little bit high than the retail price. is definitely not for retail, though maybe depending on your size, you can find it a little bit cheaper, or at least at retail. And I'm fine with people sleeping on this. I love this silhouette. It is so incredibly comfortable. And unless there's a colorway that's just, oh, I will get every single colorway release. There is one colorway of the NMD S1 that I haven't been able to grab, and it's the ready to be remade. I just cannot find my size out there. One of my best buddies, Jason, he got it, and it's a beautiful looking shoe. And I got the triple black one that is not the same type of shoe. I, hold on. It is the same type of shoe, but the colorways are different. The midsole is different. I need to have that shoe. Uh, it was easier for me to find and get the original white version of the NMD S1 than it is to find this ready to be remade in my size, but we'll see. Uh, I wanna have it because I like Pokemon. I gotta catch it all. I'm gonna grab them all. Uh, I will wear them all at some point. But I'd love to know what you think about the NMD S1, not only the lows, but of course the boot. Um, and just talk about, do you like it? Do you find it as comfortable as I do? I obviously, I'm all about the comfort on the shoe and I just love the mix of retro and modern and retro modern and futuristic and modern futuristic, whatever. I love the way the shoe looks. To me, it looks like a shoe that was going to be the, all the rage years from now, but they just brought it back in time and go like, you might not be ready for that, but your kids are going to love it. Love to hear what you think in the comment section down below. So to all of you out there, wherever you are, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Just Chill. Till the next episode.